In this video, we'll be making a Simon game. Let's begin. What's a Simon game? You take four LEDs and four corresponding buttons. The first round, the first LED lights up. That means you need to press the first button to confirm the sequence. Then, second round, the sequence starts re by repeating itself and then the fourth LED lights up, for example. This means you have to press the first and then the, the fourth button. This continues until you fail. Of course, all of this generation is done randomly, which on an Arduino is done by reading a value of an unused analog pin. After a long moment of testing, breadboard prototyping and code troubleshooting, I had a working Simon game. It was still far from a decent result, but I took it positively and started modeling. My idea came from those lights, which I think look very cool, so I modeled a box and of course, as always, I forgot to plan the powering of the whole thing. So after, in the assembly I had to create some additional holes to put everything in. Next up, I 3D printed all of the parts and after that uploaded my code. The code consists of three main parts. First, we need to create the sequence and then play it. For that, as I already mentioned, we read a value from 1 to 4 on an analog pin and then add it to an array. This array will be storing the whole generated sequence and erased before each game. Then, we need to listen to button presses and to another array add the corresponding IDs of each button. For example, if the first button is pressed, we add the number 1 and so on. Finally, we have to the checking part, where we compare, one after the other, the value from the sequence array and the value from the button array. If it's the right one, then go to the next one, and if not, then stop the game and play the game over animation. Just to be clear, this code is far from being perfect. It is functional but there are much better ways of doing it to make it much more performing. And that's it. Now you know everything you need to know to understand and create your own silent game. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share or subscribe to our channel if you like this type of content. And that's it for me. See you next time.